life. If this is your first time here, then you're welcome. This is a one-stop hub for all things fashion, health, hair, and beauty. We love all of those things. So if you like any or all of those things, then please do subscribe and consider joining our little online community, our little hub of fab dolls. We're slowly but surely growing and we love to have interaction. So I'd love you to comment down below your favorite pieces from this video or even just any suggestions for other videos. Here at The Fab Life, we love all things fashion. Doesn't matter whether it's high end or designer or whether it's more high street. It's more about quality pieces, classic pieces that can stand the test of time. And my two key words that I talk about all the time are longevity and versatility. You'll see from the pieces I'm gonna show you today in starting your designer wardrobe, that it's all about pieces that can work multiple ways and actually you can get really good wear out of in order to reduce that cost per wear. So if that sounds like something right up your street, then do please keep watching and like this video. I do love to do a mixture of high end as well as high street pieces because that is very reflective of who I am as a person, but also my personal style. If you have not watched my designer dupes video, please do watch that. I will either link that in the iCards or down in the description below. I've actually got two designer dupes videos already up on my channel. I'm going to be talking about five key pieces I think are great to start a designer or luxury collection. And I'm going to be counting down from five to one. Please do keep watching because number one is actually going to be a classic bag. I wonder if I've given that away already. And there will also be some bonus pieces as well as just a little chat about certain websites and pre-loved markets that I like to use or that you could use to get some of these items and save yourselves even more money. Starting with number five, I would say one of the best pieces to enter into the luxury market with would be a belt. A belt is super versatile and it's going to really help to just elevate your look. Now, a belt of your choice might be something like the Gucci Marmon belt. I'll put up a picture. I know that we all know this belt. It's been everywhere. There are always different versions and different styles of the Gucci Marmon. That is one thing I do like about it. So you could maybe just put a little bit of spin on it and go for something like the pearl version, because that would be beautiful, especially if you tend to wear a lot of white pieces like I do. Something like that would be lovely. There is, of course, the Hermes Mini Constance belt. Again, super chic. That's going to be great with so many outfits and just helps to complete your look. But if you're not really into big, flashy logos like the GG, like Gucci Marmont, then something like the YSL Y buckle belt is a great option. Um, and that's what I've got here. So it's just a simple Y. And when you're wearing the belt, the Y stays horizontal. So actually, a lot of times, it doesn't even particularly look like you've got any statement belt on, but again, that gold is going to be picking up a lot of your gold accents that you're wearing, and it just helps to tie a look together without actually really being too in your face and too flashy. And that's personally why I like it. I don't tend to wear a lot of things that are monogrammed. Um, I prefer to keep things a little bit more subtle. In fact, I don't think I have any monogram bags. For example, brands like Louis Vuitton, I prefer the epi leather, for example, rather than the monogram canvas that's got the logo all over it. This will be versatile enough because, of course, you can put it in the belt loops of your jeans or shorts. But if it's small enough, it can also work as a waist belt. So this would be lovely to just nip in your waist, perhaps on a more billowy dress. Something like that can just help cinch in the waist and even on outerwear so popping that on over a coat i really like that look things like this just help to add a little something interesting to your outfit so this would be my pick but again if you still like the saint laurent belt there are the newer versions with the actual ysl monogram i'll put a picture up there and that is still quite subtle because i find the ysl logo is quite small it's not really as in your face as the gg gucci Marmon. so Still another good option to think about. In at number four, another great entry piece would be a pair of sunglasses. Now a pair of sunglasses are actually a really good way to buy into a brand, especially if you love the aesthetics of that brand, but you cannot maybe afford one of the more expensive pieces of that brand. For example, something like the Celine Carlina sunglasses. I'll put up a picture up here. It just helps you to get into the vibe of that chic boho Chloe girl with the pinks. Very ethereal, very sort of boho and relaxed. And having a pair of that sunglasses can help you to start to emulate and achieve that look. Personally, because I prefer more classic styles, I tend to go for things like aviators. For example, the Ray-Ban aviators. Um, is that actually a designer? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
But anyway, I've got another designer item to show you here, which is the Chanel Pilot sunglasses. Now, I love this sunglasses because it is everything I love in accessories. Firstly, it's an aviator style, which again, I said I like the aviator style because it's a classic style, but it's in this rose gold and pink accents, which again, it's just so chic and so feminine and so beautiful. I personally am someone who tends to prefer silver jewellery, or let's say traditionally I was someone who preferred silver jewellery. And as I've got older, I have started to definitely appreciate more of the gold, but I do find sometimes yellow gold a bit too yellow. I like things still like white gold, like my wedding ring, which I haven't got on right now, is in white gold. The rose gold I find is almost the perfect compromise shall we say so something like the uh, Chanel Pilot they are just the perfect perfect sunglasses they just make everything look super cool super chic I just love them obviously these are like a mirrored lens so if you're not really into that mirrored lens you can still just get a normal normal polarized lens I guess but I actually quite like the mirrored lens I love the blue mirrored lens I love the green mirrored lens pink mirrored lens so that for me is not a problem Another classic style, of course, would be something like the Celine Cat Eye sunglasses in black. I'll put up a picture up there. Now, this is one that I really love. At first, I wasn't sure if it's just everywhere, you know, on social media with lots of bloggers, but actually it is a beautiful pair. All the YSL New Wave sunglasses, which are a little bit maybe more subtle, but the Celine is such a big statement, uh, and I do love that. In at number three is footwear. If you can invest or splash out on... A pair of designer shoes then I think that this will be a great addition to your collection I would say that my advice is to keep it pretty classic and probably in a neutral color so that you can get a lot of wear out of it and really start to reduce that cost per wear now saying that that is just my personal preference you might actually prefer to get a really super special pair of designer shoes something that you only wear on special occasions and it just really makes those special occasions and special events that little bit more memorable maybe something with some pearl detail or a lot of embellishment for example and it probably will be something that you maybe don't wear as often i'm going to show you a couple of classic pairs that i've invested in and i get a lot of wear out of because i've kept it to a classic style but also in a classic color palette as well I feel like I've been such a cliche by going for everyone's starter shoe, which is, of course, the Louboutins. These are the Pigalis um, in the 100 millimeters, I think they are. So they're reasonably high, but they are pretty comfortable. As you can see, I went for the nude color because I wanted it to go with anything and everything. Doesn't matter if I'm wearing white, if I'm wearing black, if I'm wearing tones of brown, or if I was wearing blue like this, it still goes with everything. And that's why I think making a sensible purchase in a sensible color like this is really gonna stand you in good stead. Now saying that, I don't wear a lot of color. And if I do, it tends to just be a little pop of an injection of color rather than a whole wardrobe full of color. But if color is really your thing, then by all means, pick a color like a neon green or a hot pink or, any of those sort of colors because that will be true to your personal style and it probably will go with lots of things you might have lots of accessories already in green bags and scarves that match and things like that so a pair of green shoes may very well go with your wardrobe at the moment neon is actually one of the spring trends so if you'd invested in a hot pink or a lime yellow or green pair of shoes then it's probably come round back again to be in trend but again it's not always about what's in trend it's honestly about buying the things that you love the other shoes i wanted to talk about are the gianvita rossi plexi pumps and i've kept it again in a neutral palette so this time i went for the black toe cap but with the nude heel because I felt that that would go with a multiple of things. So in at number two is jewellery. I've rated jewellery quite highly because I think that if you can afford some designer jewellery, then it can really elevate your look. Unlike things like shoes, they won't get as much wear. And therefore, every time you use them, every time you put them on, they just help to make your whole outfit, your whole ensemble look very, very polished. So what jewellery to go for? Honestly, I think it's more about what your personal style is. I'm someone who doesn't wear a lot of big, 
earrings for example but if you were really into your big earrings or your statement earrings then i think something like the chanel statement pearl earrings would be so so beautiful this one perhaps a little dressier more for evening or for an event during the daytime but something like the dior earrings because they are more pearl studs that's probably more my style because i tend to wear if i'm not wearing small dangly earrings like these then i tend to just wear pearl earrings the fendi pearl earrings is also another great alternative definitely a little bit more affordable than the chanel ones but again it's just keeping things a little bit more fresh a little bit more modern a little bit more youthful i'm going to show you my chanel brooch i love a good brooch because i feel like it's very versatile you can wear it on a simple t-shirt perhaps not this one but imagine if you had just a plain white t-shirt you could wear that on there you could pop it on the lapel of your blazer or your jacket so there's a closer look i am using natural light so it's reflecting quite a bit please bear with me this is just a simple gold cc but if it was a little bit more elaborate a little bit more ornate perhaps it had pearls and a few more details you could then transform it into a hair clip and then it helps to just tie in some of the hair trends of 2020 which are things like hair clips especially pearl hair clips i'll put up some pictures of what i'm talking about an honorary mention would be something like a cuff that would also be a great addition because that's something you could probably wear quite casual in the daytime but also in the evening as well so something like the dior 30 montan cuff bracelet that would be beautiful because it's very bold it's very in your face but it's also very classic very chic at the same time and in at number one the number one spot i would say if you can really push the boat out or you've got enough disposable income because i know we're talking about key pieces that you can add into your collection when you're building that collection up but if you can actually invest in a bag then of course that has to be number one but i'm going to show you two classic bags please excuse my nails this is the medium flap and this is the wallet on chain very classic colors very classic shapes this i went for in a black because i knew that i wanted a black bag that would go with absolutely everything i did mention before that i tend to wear more silver jewelry or white gold which is why i actually went for this hardware but actually now i'm kind of evolving a little bit in my style i think i actually would prefer with gold hardware my mother has one identical bag but in gold hardware and the more i see it the more i think oh actually i kind of wish i'd gone for that instead um and the wallet on chain i think is probably a better addition in terms of this video we're talking about maybe slightly more affordable pieces so if you did have to go for a bag i would go for something like the wallet on chain i've stuffed all my bags at the moment so that's why i keep i try to keep the chains out the way so that they don't indent in the leather inside um so i tend to just leave that up hanging or if it was another brand for example gucci something like a camera bag if it was uh, saint laurent then something like the toy lulu bag or even the uptown pouch would be a, a good alternative as well so those are my top five key pieces that i would add to start your luxury collection if for example you couldn't actually get a bag then i think the next thing number one item probably would have been something like an slg which is a small leather good whether it's a card holder whether it's a an actual coin purse or maybe even some of the longer buy wallets because they hold a lot of cards but also cash especially if you love brands like chanel or dior or saint laurent then having an slg from that brand is a great start in your collection now where to get some of these pieces obviously directly from the brands themselves on their websites we're obviously in isolation so some brands like chanel you're not actually going to be easily able to purchase some of those things and have them delivered but i think a great place to start especially if we're talking about making some of these key pieces a little bit more affordable is definitely looking on the pre-loved website websites i will put up a list perhaps up here but websites like vestiaire collective websites like designer exchange or we buy designer your local consignment stores which of course i appreciate now might not be open because we are in a lockdown but they often will still have their websites running and still do deliveries so that is also a great option to think about as well so my loves i hope you enjoyed this video i've really enjoyed making this and actually thinking about just putting together this little collection thank you so much for watching i will catch you very soon please stay healthy stay well and stay home